Henry. Um, we're here at the other side of the pillow. So um, what we're looking at right here is a Style 98 slip-on. Uh, the slip-on was first made in 78, I think. Uh, but this is extra special with the custom scene. So you could go into the shop and choose your own rubber design. And these were produced in conjunction with the release of obviously Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which is probably the moment which put Vans onto the map, like general, in the general consciousness. In the beginning, I was sourcing purely on eBay. I, you know, I started back home in Sydney and there was no other option really. So it was one by one, one piece at a time on eBay over years and years. A, a little community formed of collectors and we'd work together, you know, trading um, if stock turns up here or there. And then <clears throat> uh, eventually it was following major leads internationally, mostly found online or through collectors where, you know, 200 pairs might turn up here in South of France or in um, California. So I'd go out on the road and try and secure these, these lots. So right here we have uh, Style 95, which uh, really is the shoe that started everything for Vans in skateboarding. So, um, you know, the Dogtown skaters in, in the 70s were wearing um, mostly the Navy deck shoe until they brought Tony Alva and Stacey Peralta into the um, warehouse, into the shop to design one of the first skateboarding skate specific shoes ever and this was um, what they came up with you know padded collar extra panel at the heel the off the wall um, additions so this is extremely rare from 1976 some of the first designs made for skateboarding what we have here looks like a converse shoe but it's a van uh, this is super early, this is from the 60s, maybe some of the first years of production. Before the brand was called Vans, it started off as House of Vans. And this is um, the heel tab from 1966, which was in production for only about a year. And this is when production was at its peak, like built like Sherman tanks, and that was their objective early on to, um, you know, make them hold up and this could still be worn you know almost 50 years later these vans are vulcanized using techniques which are almost um, extinct as such uh, so produced basically cooked in huge ovens um, you know put together in different rooms uh, you know a stitching room um, and so yeah every, every product is made by hand and you can see that in the construction Often there's anomalies from you know one shoe to the next, or sizes um, come up different. But it's really this um, this hands-on element that creates a unique shoe. Mm -hmm. 